What's up guys, it's Jake here with For the Love of Tools. Today we're going to be talking about Mayhew products. So don't go anywhere, stick around. Hi guys, welcome to the For Love of Tools. Uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, if you could give me a subscribe, give me a like, let me know how I did. Like I said, today we're gonna be talking about Mayhew products. Uh, before we get started, I wanna get a shout out to one mechanic. I started an Instagram recently, if you guys could follow me on there, but uh, you know, he's been giving me a lot of, he's been giving me a lot of love, sending you, know, asking his fans to come check out my channel. I really appreciate that. And also the Heavy Wrench, I'll leave both their channels uh, up in the top so you guys can check them out but they've been helping me out a lot so let's get started so today I want to talk about Mayhew so in particular I have more stuff coming from Mayhew but right now I have I have their Dominator pry bars so what I like about these is the set of five which I'll show you the set of five but um you know, they come in great lengths. They come from it's, uh, 31 inches, 24 inches, 17 inches, 12, and then 8 inches. So that's the set that you're going to get on Amazon if you purchase them on there. Um, these are the same brand that Matco sells. And I mean, if you look at the Matco pry bars, they even say Mayhew right on them. Uh, these, are, these are a full tang through the handle. They do have a striking end on them. They do have the curve at the end. Uh, I've had these ones for quite a while. I use this one a lot. If you look at the tip, I mean, I've I've just barely damaged it. But uh, these Mayhews are, are really good. Uh, you can even buy the Mayhew off the Snap-on truck. You have to go in the uh, auxiliary catalog that they have. But they will sell you Mayhew, and they will warranty them out. Uh, my boss had them. So we'll look at we'll look at the whole set here. So I mean. Here is, these are the three smallest ones. So if you're working on like cars and stuff, you can use these quite a bit if you don't need a super big one. Uh, this is a common size that I use. This is the 17 inch. Um, believe it or not, I also use the eight inch quite a bit. This is like, this is the screwdriver that most people use to pry shit up with. I just use this. It's, a, it's meant, because I don't, I don't like to use tools that are not meant to be used for. So. I'm using this actual pry bar instead of a little screwdriver. Uh, this one, I don't use a whole lot. This is the 12 inch. It's still good. But I use, I use the 24, the 17, and the 31. You know, the, uh, the first three, these handles are all the same size. Or the eight inch one is a little bit shorter, but these all fit in my tool cart where these ones do not because the handle is longer and so they stick up about that far above the top of my box so I can't close my lid. So these actually go in my teardown table that I have. So those are the, this is, that's all one set of pry bars you can get off of Amazon. And then this one, this is the, this is the big motherfucker. This is the 58 inch. It has a, it has a really nice handle it again has the curved tip and if you guys can see it I mean it's tall if I put it here right in front of me on the ground it's as tall as I am sitting in my toolbox <clears throat> but this does have a through shank that goes all the way through it has a striking end the the shank is three quarters of an inch I mean they're just they're really nice pry bars for the price I'll leave links for all of these in the description I got them all off of Amazon I've had the big one I got recently, a couple weeks ago, and then the little ones I've had for about two years now. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll leave links to all those in the description. So, the next Mayhew product that I have <clears throat> is these little picks. Now, again, if you guys are familiar with Matco, um, they sell stuff that has this exact same handle. It's just, it's rebranded Mayhew. 
Oh, another thing, all Mayhew products are made in the USA. So that's another bonus, and you can get them for a lot cheaper than most everyone else. You know, this is the standard four-piece pick set. You have your straight, you have your hook, you have your 90 degree, and then you have a little, I don't know what angle you want to call that one, like a little offset 90. Yeah, it's a 90 and has a 45. So these are the ones that I have right now. Uh, I do have more Mayhew products coming in the mail. I ordered quite a bit of stuff more off of Amazon. I got a tool haul video coming up for you guys in the future. But so yeah, I mean, for Mayhew products, they make really good like striking tools and stuff that is, they know you're going to abuse it. So like they make really good punches. They make really good uh, air hammer bits punches air hammer bits they make great pry bars you know picks that everyone breaks they make hose picks they make small picks large picks they make a lot of different stuff that's all in the category of we know you're going to abuse it so let's build it as best as we can so we don't have to fix it as often I mean because they know you're going to break it eventually um, I haven't had to warranty anything through them but I know that they do have a lifetime warranty one of these days I'll have to, and we'll see how that goes. But, I mean, I love Mayhew. They make really good stuff, and I'm really glad I found them, and I'm just, I'm just gonna keep buying stuff from them. I am gonna buy a, you know, a set of hand punches from them here really soon, because the one I have from Harbor Freight, they're just, you know, fuck, trying to use those, they chip off and hit you in the face, and it's just, it's painful. So I am gonna be getting rid of those Harbor Freight punches and going to a set of Mayhews beat on them. I do have some of the Mayhew long hammer bits and they, I mean when it comes to air hammer bits they're going to get abused. It's hard to tell what's good and what isn't because I mean most time if you're using something to scrape with what I'm doing it for usually I'm using it to chip concrete. I mean it's going to get damaged quite a bit. I mean I have noticed less damage with those and I have my other ones but I mean they still get pretty dinged up and destroyed but so that's all it for today guys uh, so remember follow me on Instagram like my channel subscribe to my channel drop me a comment let me know how I did and we'll catch you on the next video peace